I'm Emily Chang, and this is Bloomberg Technology. Decentralized internet company Pied Piper is the most recent Valley startup to ICO. And joining us to discuss, Chief Systems Architect Bertram Guilfoyle. Welcome, Bertram. It's Guilfoyle. Okay, then, Guilfoyle. Tell me a little bit about your past experience with cryptocurrency. Well, I've been mining coins since 2009. It was a different scene then, underground, only true believers. So I imagine when it came to launching Pied Piper coin that you were the team's head cheerleader. Let me rephrase that. What attracted you personally to an ICO? What attracted me was the passage an ICO offers across the river sticks of venture capital. What attracted me was an informed disdain for traditional fiat currency, its paper stained with the greasy fingerprints of your banks and your mints. What attracted me was cryptocurrency's fundamental anonymity that shields private transactions from the peering green eyes of the all-knowing governmental overlords. Does that answer your question? You have a rather bleak view of financial institutions that have worked for centuries. Worked? How so? Thank you, Bertram. It's Guilfoyle. Still to come, the aftermath of Hooley's manufacturing disaster. Is Goldbar, North Carolina, the new Flint, Michigan?